and it has been nearly 24 hours since anyone has seen 11 year old Audrey Cunningham. Take a good look at your screen right now. She was last seen wearing a black hoodie with white lettering and black pants on Lakeside Drive in Livingston. She also had a camel backpack. If you have seen Audrey or know where she is, please call the Polk County Sheriff's Office. So my name is uh, Lieutenant Craig Cummings. I'm a spokesperson for the Texas Department of Public Safety. Uh, this afternoon here at the request of the Polk County Sheriff. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to be at this press conference, but he remains actively engaged in this investigation and helping bring this little girl home. So I want to update the media uh, and the community about what we've got thus far. Um, so around 5.30 p.m. yesterday, the family reported Audrey missing when she didn't get off the bus. Investigators learned that she didn't get on the bus yesterday morning further prompting concerns. So they reached out to the Polk County, the family reached out to the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff's Office contacted the Texas Department of Public Safety and an Amber Alert was, in, it was issued soon after it was requested yesterday. Um, investigators are actively speaking with persons of interest in this particular case. Um, they are asking for any information that can help find her um, and that information can be submitted by calling the Polk County Sheriff's Office, be submitted through our iWatch Texas app, um, or if it's an emergency nature, calling 911. Um, at this point, no tip is too small. So if you've got information that you think could be helpful, we're absolutely asking you to, to help. Um, investigators also are actively following leads in this case as well. Um, they're also working with Crime Stoppers um, so that they can try to get an award put together. The uh, FBI is also assisting in this investigation um, as they do with several Amber Alerts. Our Texas Rangers are here assisting with the investigation along with the Polk County Sheriff's Office, San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office. This is really an all hands on deck case. What led investigators here today? Uh, we're actively following leads. And so that's exactly what we're doing here now. We've got boats that are in the water um, and we've also got dogs that are down there as well. Um, our hope is that uh, with all the equipment that we're bringing in here, that we can bring her home safely. Who are some of the people of interest? Uh, right now we're getting it. We're not getting into that. This is still a very active and fluid investigation. Um, and so investigators are um, actively involved in getting information that will help bring Audrey home. There's a work on the street. Is there a stranger to this place? What's that? Have you found physical evidence at this location that brings you here? At this point, we can say investigators are actively following leads, but we can't go any farther than that at this point. We're trying to protect the, the integrity of the investigation as most we can. The uh, priority right now is bringing Audrey home. Is the lead, the, is is the lead strong enough for you all to be here for several hours? We've seen a dog um, giving some items to sniff, and that dog immediately took off. Can you kind of share what you all have seen here to sniff? keep you here for several hours. Yeah, so there are uh, several different pieces of, uh, of information that we are looking at. To say how long we're going to be here really is difficult to say at this point. I know that we are going to continue this investigation, be here for as long as we need to do until we have exhausted all the leads that we've uncovered here. Is this the only location you all are actively searching? Um, this investigation remains ongoing, um, and so there are a lot of different things at play right now, uh, but I can definitely say investigators are here concentrated in this area following those leads. So Audrey has not been found? No. Okay. Uh -uh. The initial info said they believe she could be in great danger. Can you guys kind of explain why that might be the case? Um, okay. We, we don't want to go any farther than what we've gone thus far. Um, we want to protect the integrity of that investigation, but that's the reason why we're asking for the public to send information in that they think could be relevant in helping get Audrey home safely to her family. Obviously, we know you don't want to go into details of the investigation, but the neighbors, folks who have been out here searching since last night, started speculating about someone might have taken her last seen, possibly seen in a vehicle with someone yesterday. 6.30 before that 7 o'clock bus pick up. Is there anything you can say on that map that's kind of been spreading around the community? Um, I know there's a lot of information that's out on social media about this. Um, I don't want to speculate. I don't want to go into that. Um, that's the role of our investigators right now. And, and I can tell you that they all have their heart and soul into bringing Audrey home right now. Um, and I want to protect the efforts that they're doing right now to uh, solve this case. Are there any persons of interest in custody right now? Um, no, no. At this point, we're not. Uh, we know we've got 
active leads that we are following um, and um, and certainly a person of interest, but uh, that's as far as we'll go on that. Uh, well, persons of interest. Did, did the family give any information as to why the kid didn't get on the bus? No. Uh -uh. And, and they they may have. Um, I've, I'm not aware of that. Um, and so that's, but I can tell you it was a concern for the family that uh, she did not get on the bus. It was unexpected. Um, and that's the reason why when she didn't get off the bus and investigators learned, family learned that she didn't get on, it uh, increased the concern. Have you spoken with the father? Uh, investigators have done that um, and they continue to be involved with the family as well. From what I understand about the community, the school specifically, if a student doesn't arrive at school, a notification is sent to the parents. Are you aware if a notification was ever sent to a parent that Audrey never made it to school yesterday? Uh, that would be a question for the school district. Um, I don't want to speculate on what they uh, may have done, but I would definitely reach out to them for information. Um, I got about time for two more questions. I assume the family has been cooperative with the investigation? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the family's been very cooperative. Um, everybody here, the entire community out here has been nothing but cooperative and, and helpful. Um, and so um, I know our, our prayers collectively are that we bring Audrey home soon. Do you believe this is an isolated case or is there an ongoing threat to the community? No, we don't believe there's an ongoing threat to the community at this point. Um, our focus right now is on Audrey and bringing her, her safely home to her family. What, what's the condition uh, of the area? That's all I've got, but I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you. This hour, investigators ending their search for the day for 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham. Officials giving that update just 20 minutes ago. The family of the girl says she went missing about 5.30 last night. We're talking about up in Polk County. Investigators say they will be back at Lake Livingston, where they've been searching today, as soon as the sun comes up tomorrow. Our reporter Stephen Gowen has been on the scene since this morning with the latest right now. Stephen. Just moments ago, the Texas Department of Public Safety telling us this is a continued area of interest in the search for Audrey Cunningham. They say they're still actively following leads, and that is what brought them here to this section of Lake Livingston near the dam. Now, we saw a large law, and press, uh, law enforcement presence here earlier in the day for hours and hours, officials telling us that Audrey was reported missing last night when she did not get off the school bus, but it turns out she never got on the bus in the morning. Investigators have not characterized this as an abduction. They only say Audrey is missing. Now, Officials tell us the search is winding down for today and they are not searching tonight, but law enforcement will be back here at daybreak at this continued place of interest. Take a listen. This is a location of interest. Um, and so we are, that's the reason why we've got the effort. That's why we have the dogs here. That's the reason why the, uh, the boats have been here. Um, all of this in an effort to, to find Audrey. Now here's a picture of Audrey that we got from the Polk County Sheriff's Office. She is described as approximately four foot one with blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing black pants, a black hoodie and a Hello Kitty backpack. Now Audrey's last known location is just a short drive away from here, but they are still searching in many different places for her. Of course, here at this continued place of interest, we are told anyone with information or any tips are encouraged to call the Polk County Sheriff's Office. We're gonna watch this search wind down tonight here at the dam. For now, at Lake Livingston, Stephen Golan, back to you. And breaking tonight, we are hearing from the mother of a missing 11-year-old girl in Polk County. Audrey Cunningham vanished on the way to school Thursday morning. It triggered an Amber Alert and a major search involving local, state, and federal authorities. Authorities spent the day looking in an area around Lake Livingston up in Polk County. Matt Doherty is live tonight at the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Matt, what do we know right now? Well, enemy authorities will resume their search first thing tomorrow morning. It was halted earlier tonight once it got dark. However, this is still a very active investigation. David, this is the stuff that you see on TV and you wonder, uh, you can only imagine what uh, the, the family and the parents are going through and um, there, there's not words for it. Through tears, Cassie Matthews, the mother of 11 year old Audrey, pleaded for help finding her missing daughter tonight. She was allegedly uh, dropped off um, at her bus stop. And later on, uh, we come to learn that she never even made it on the bus. Just hours before investigators were playing things close to the vest, letting on that they know more 
than they're willing to tell the public right now. And I can understand the public's concern um, that we're not giving out a lot of information, um, but the end here is to find Audrey uh, and bring her home. They haven't said if they've found any sort of evidence in the area they spent searching Friday night near Lake Livingston. And despite the rumors in this small town, they won't say if there is a suspect connected to the girl's disappearance. Audrey's mother says her daughter was living with her father, who has custody, as well as her grandmother and another man. Family members tell us that other man would drive Audrey to the bus stop each morning before school. No one at the family's home would speak with us tonight. Not Meanwhile, Cassie Matthews says she's devastated. You feel it's a roller coaster. You're you're broken. You're you're mad. You uh, you're lost. You're empty. And right now, I I am empty. And I'm not gonna. I'm not going to be the same unless my baby is returned to me and neither, neither is her family, anyone in her family, any of us. Authorities say that they are speaking to persons of interest tonight. If you have any information on Audrey's disappearance, you're asked to give them a call right away. Back to you. Hopeful for her safe return. Matt Doherty, thank you. 11 year old Audrey Cunningham is still missing. The massive search to find her continues this morning near Lake Livingston. New this morning, officials have released an image of a vehicle of interest. Katera Winfrey is live in Polk County with the newest details. Katera, what have you learned out there this morning? Well, Cheryl, the search area here near Boa Marina is starting to fill up. Equisearch is here along with several other law enforcement agencies all desperate to find this little girl. And now this morning we've officially reached past 48 hours since that little girl has gone missing. Now here's a look at a vehicle of interest. It's a 2003 dark blue Chevy Suburban. Officials believe it's some way connected to the missing girl. Now this morning search areas is looking really similar to what we saw yesterday as crews look for clues. Officials say Audrey went missing on her way to school. Family later learned she never got on the bus or made it to school. And so far, investigators call the search location an area of interest, and that's what led them here. KHOU spoke to Audrey's mom here. To hear what she had to say. She has so many opportunities ahead of her, and she deserves every right to be able to reach those opportunities. She should be at home where we know she's safe and she's warm and she's fed and she should be with her, her, her little brother. She should be doing what Audrey does, you know, smiling, laughing, making everybody else smile and laugh. And the mother said Audrey lives with her dad, her grandmother and another man and says that that man allegedly dropped her off at the bus stop Thursday morning. However, investigators so far haven't given any suspect information, but we'll update you throughout the day as we learn more. For now, reporting live in Polk County, Katira Winfrey, KHOU 11 News. Absolutely heartbreaking to hear the concern in that mother's voice. Thank you so much, Katira.